in the long, long, long 20, 30 year existence or whatever, you know, like future of that engine, is that going to be worth it? Obviously, SpaceX said, yeah, I think we can actually develop this, this Raptor engine. So it's, it's just interesting to see the things that have been looked at, or even reusability, you know, like the space shuttle was reusable. It was fully, uh, the upper stage, you know, the, the shuttle itself, the, the orbiter was, you know, I mean, that thing was, for all intents and purposes, a reusable rocket. Now, did it live up to its expectations? Not necessarily. So it put, left a lot of bad taste in people's mouth on the, the ideas of reusability. So for SpaceX to kind of come back into the room and on the table and say, we're going to use a reusable rocket. Specifically, we're going to do a fully reusable rocket. You know, a lot of people are, even still today, a lot of people are going, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> even today. Even today. So like oh, yeah. long term, you're not going to be able to reuse at scale. Yeah. But yeah. definitely, I think the number of people that are saying that today is is a small portion of those that were saying that type of thing five years ago. You know, when Elon did that announcement in 2016, um, for the ITS, it was very, very aspirational. And people were just like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. You know, and there was a large number of people that had the factual reasons to, to think that and do that. You know, um, at the time they'd only landed like two rockets or something, you know, at, when they did that, or maybe three, it was a very small number. Uh, when they announced that actually they had just lost <laughs> a couple months prior, they just lost, uh, Amos six. So they like, they were still this young blossoming company and to come in and be like, we figured out reusability and now we're going to go full scale and make the world's biggest, most heaviest, most powerful rocket ever. And we're going to fully reuse it. And it's going to go to Mars. It was just pretty out there. Like it really was. And, well, yeah, you know, it's yeah. all about perspective. But now yeah. again, we're coming up on 100 consecutive landings of an orbital class rocket that's, you know, 45 meters tall, 3.7 meters wide. Like this thing is huge, weighs 20 metric tons, even empty when it's landing, that thing's already huge. So seeing the success of that, I think people are now more like, well, okay, maybe maybe there is actually the opportunity to be fully reusable. That's definitely probably the biggest constraint that I think has been questioned. That is the reusability. Being, yep. 